The point when I really decided it was important for me to go to the draft was when I looked back and I knew that I was ready. Making that mental finish from college was enough for me to say, I can't go back. With the second pick in the 2020 WNBA draft, the Dallas Wings select. This is the real woke up like this. Face lotion is empty. I'm gonna get my day started without face lotion. That's all good. I have another quiz today. Four exams for one class, each 25%. So that's the only grade you have for this class. Right now during coronavirus, it's weird because you're supposed to just sit in your house, not do anything. Two months ago, I thought uh, I would be playing until April. You know, go to New York for the draft, enter it smoothly. And now it's just completely different. I made the decision to enter the draft and leave school early because I will have my degree this summer. Uh, that's what I wanted. That's what I came to America for. And I know that I'm able to play at the next level. I always had a good experience as a child. We moved around a lot, grew up around a lot of cultures, spoke English, German, always moved back home to Gambia. My dad wanted us to know his culture and wanted us to grow up with it. Wait, but... Oh, the other way. ESPN, what did you send us? Hey, in German we say, was sie nicht weiß, macht sie nicht heiß, wa? I haven't spoken overseas to my family back home for almost this whole week because I've just been so busy, so that's sad. You know, it's a new thing and I feel like this draft will definitely go in the books forever. I'm so excited. I think this will be really cool. Draft day! I'm so tired, guys. Honestly, right now I'm like stressed out and I don't even know why. I'm like stressed out already. Let's go. Lamin! This is off my hands, this is 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, oh my God. God. That's so cool. The ability for people like me to leave earlier from collegiate athletics and entering the professional life as a female just shows how far women's sports have came. Men are able to be one and done because of their financial stability. It just shows that there is a need for financial stability for female athletes. And I think it's really possible for more female athletes to leave earlier. Important for me to have on draft night was definitely showing my heritage, you know, Gambian and German heritage. I'm gonna wear a hoodie from Cthulhu and uninterrupted that will just show that I'm, for example, more than an athlete. I've always tried to be that way throughout my collegiate career and I wanna show it on draft night. I wanna show people that I have African heritage from Gambia. And you will see that with the curtains behind my back and it's kind of a form of storytelling. Oh, <laughs> like this, Lindsay? I think we're gonna go live soon. Actually, right, yeah, right now with our first guest. And so the second pick is from Dallas or what? What are we thinking here? Walk me through it. <laughs> well, that would be awesome. For me, making that mental finish from college was enough for me to say, I can't go back. With the second pick in the 2020 WNBA Draft, the Dallas Wings select Satu Sahel. I would have never thought that I would be able to get picked so high and it just shows that, that the people that have been supporting me have really been showing me so much love and appreciation and have supported me along the way. That's what we wish you all Family, we know what you have to give up to get where you are. Mama! That's my mommy! They told me that I would get picked high, but I never really believed in it until now.